Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Compline for uh, Sunday night, November the 15th. Welcome to our 200th COVID Compline. 200! We've done a thing. Uh, it's just been uh, so encouraging to gather on these nights to bring our days to a close, entrusting our cares, our worries, our prayers, and our praise to God. Uh, it's been a sight to behold as we've witnessed real community forming across this digital space. So happy 200. I want to challenge you tonight. Uh, I mentioned this before, but maybe you're joining us especially tonight. Uh, so I want to challenge you uh, to a little project called 200 for 200. You'll see that Our Savior Lutheran Church of Edmonton is featured as the charity of choice tonight. Uh, maybe you'll support Our Savior. Uh, maybe you want to support uh, another charity of choice, in which case, uh, and perhaps a charity a little closer to home. Um, if you do that, just please type that in the chat and make a pledge. Uh, and we're playing with the theme of 200, so maybe you want to give 200 uh, pennies. That'd be $2. 200 nickels would be $10. 200 dimes would be $20. 200 uh, quarters would be $50, 200 loonies would be $200, maybe even somebody wants to do 200 toonies. Uh, all the funds that are donated to Our Savior Lutheran Church of Edmonton will go to our Christmas hamper program, uh, which provides, the goal is about a week's worth of food uh, to help families, many of whom, uh, especially their kids, rely on aids that they receive at school uh, to help them through a time when there is no school as well as giving them uh, food for a Christmas celebration. Uh, we all know our Christmas celebrations are going to look very different this year so this year we want to challenge ourselves to do even more hampers than we normally do. Um, so each hamper is about $200. Heidi is pledging 200 cookies to go into the uh, hampers so thanks Heidi that's phenomenal. Uh, I know Josiah and Solomon, our two youngest children, uh, have pledged $162 from their uh, share savings. And so thanks to Josiah and Solomon. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's play with 200 for 200 and see where it takes us. I love to hear too about uh, the charities that you are supporting closer to home to build hope and joy and resilience during these difficult days. Thanks, Carrie, for your donation. Appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you, Marilyn and Irene. Uh, $100 to CLWR. That's been one of our favorite charities to support through these 200 days. Awesome. Look, these pledges are rolling in. That's phenomenal. Good for you, Karen. Thanks for supporting Luminos Lutheran Ministry and Hospitals in Saskatoon. We're seeing some new charities come up, but also some that we've featured along the, the way. Uh, friends, I think tonight we will surpass the $16,000 mark in uh, money, uh, funds, and pledges that this little group has raised uh, along the way. So uh, in a moment, we'll start our Compline, but I just want to thank you again for your generosity of time, uh, your generosity of presence, your generosity of your talents uh, going towards all these worthy charities. Thank you, Rita and Darcy, sponsoring a hamper. Well done. Uh, so tonight we continue our journey through the gospel according to Matthew. Um, tonight we are on to chapter 24, which includes a section on Jesus' teaching of signs at the ends of the age. Uh, and so I just want to sing together with you tonight from the end time section of our hymnal, number 439, Soon and Very Soon, uh, that beautiful hymn of anticipation and the joy that we uh, aim our lives towards, full of hope. So let's begin as it is good and wise to begin all things under the care of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, 
We humbly thank you for your goodness to us and to all that you have made. We praise you for your creation, for keeping us in all things in your care, and for all the blessings of life. Above all, we bless you for your immeasurable love in redeeming the world by our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with thankful hearts, we would praise you not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving ourselves to your service and by living in your gifts of holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all worship and praise, now and forever. Amen. Hey Tyler, thanks for joining in tonight. Ah, uh, thanks Heidi, that's great. So Christmas cards to go with the hampers. And uh, as a, always, um, along with those Christmas cards, we'll send greetings and invitation to uh, celebrate Christmas Eve together with the uh, congregation of Our Savior Lutheran Church, which will look a little different this year. It'll be an online service. So uh, Robin, thank you for supporting the Prince George uh, Food Bank Christmas hampers. So generous and I'm sure will be well, well received. Uh, so, so wonderful. Thanks, everybody. Almighty God, grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of the day. Friends, let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gracious God, have mercy on us. We confess that we have turned from you and given ourselves into the power of sin. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things we have done and things we have failed to do. Turn us again to you and uphold us by your Spirit, so that we may live and serve you in newness of life. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Hear these words of assurance. God, who is rich in mercy, loved us even when we were dead in sin and has made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. Almighty God, strengthen you with power through the Holy Spirit, that Christ may live in your hearts through faith. Amen. The Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 24th chapter. 
Glory to you, O Lord. Now Jesus left the temple and was going away when his disciples came to point out to him the buildings of the temple. But he answered them, You see all these, do you not? Truly I say to you, there will not be one left here, one stone standing upon another that will not be thrown down. And as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will all these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming? And of the end of the age? And Jesus answered them, See that no one leads you astray, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and they will lead many astray. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not alarmed, for this must take place. But the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are but the beginning of the birth pains. Then... They will deliver you up to tribulation and put you to death, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will fall away and betray one another and hate one another, and many false prophets will arise and lead many astray. And because lawlessness will be increased, the love of many will grow cold. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the whole world as a testimony to all nations. And then the end will come. So when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by the prophet Daniel standing in the holy place, let the reader understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let the one who is on the housetop not go down to take what is in his house. And let the one who is in the field not turn back to take his cloak. And alas, for women who are pregnant and for those who are nursing infants in those days, pray that your flight may not be in winter or on a Sabbath, for then there will be great tribulation, such as has not been from the beginning of the world until now, no, and never will be. And if those days had not been cut short, no human being would be saved. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. And then if anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ, or there he is, do not believe it. For false Christs and false prophets will arise and perform great signs and wonders, so as to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you beforehand. So if they say to you, look, he is in the wilderness, do not go out. If they say, look, he's in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and shines as far as the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever the corpse is, there the vultures will gather. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then will appear in heaven the sign of the Son of Man, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn. And they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. From the fig tree, then, learn its lesson. As soon as its branches become tender and puts out 
its leaves, you know that the summer is near. So also, when you see all these things, you know that he is near, yes, at the very gates. Truly, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But concerning that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, nor the Son, but the Father only. For as were the days of Noah, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. For as in the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day when Noah entered the ark, and they were unaware until the flood came and swept them all away, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Then two men will be in the field, one will be taken and one left. Two women will be grinding at the mill, one will be taken and one left. Therefore stay awake, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. But know this, that if the master of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Who then is the faithful and wise servant whom his master has set over his household to give them their food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes. Truly I say to you, he will set him over all his possessions. But if that wicked servant says to himself, my master is delayed and begins to beat his fellow servants and eats and drinks with drunkards, the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him and an hour he does not know and will cut him to pieces and put him with the hypocrites. In that place, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you, Ellie, for your donation to the Pregnancy Care Center of Kamloops. We sing together soon and very soon. Uh, if you're following along in a hymnal, number 439, and it goes like this. Pretty actually repetitive. If you don't have the lyrics in front of you, you should be able to catch it. Uh, the first line is soon and very soon we are going to see the king. And then the chorus is hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the king. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. No more crying there, we are going to see the King. No more crying there, we are going to see the King. No more crying there, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. No more dying there, we are going to see the King. No more dying there, we are going to see the King. No more dying there, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. 
soon and very soon we are going to see the king soon and very soon we are going to see the king soon and very soon we are going to see the king hallelujah hallelujah we are going to see the king no more crying there we are going to see the king boom 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 no more crying there we are going to see the king boom 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 no more crying there we are going to see the king hallelujah hallelujah we're going to see the king no more dying there we are going to see the king no more dying there we are going to see the king no more dying there we are going to see the king hallelujah hallelujah we're going to see the king soon and very soon we are going to see the king boom 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 soon and very soon we are going to see the king boom 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 soon and very soon we are going to see the king hallelujah 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 we're going to see the king. Jesus says in Matthew 11, Come to me, all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens. Come to me and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And in John 14, Jesus promises again, Peace is my parting gift to you, my own peace, such as the world cannot give. So set your troubled hearts at rest and banish your fears. For as Paul says in 2 Corinthians, It is the God who said, let light shine out of darkness who has shone in our hearts. Shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in clay jars so that it may be made clear that this extraordinary power belongs to God and does not come from us. And so friends, we sing our response for you. Your part goes like this. Into your hands I command my spirit. Try it. Into your hands I command my spirit. You have redeemed me O Lord God of truth, into your hands I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, into your hands I commend my spirit. <clears throat> Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. 
Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Friends, for what and for whom shall we pray this night? Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my cry. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. In righteousness I shall see you. When I awake, your presence will give me joy. Lord, we pray this night giving thanks uh, for these many days, slightly over 200 that have led us to 200 nights of Compline together in your presence and in the presence of one another. We thank you for connections made between provinces and uh, around the world, across land borders. We give you thanks for the defiant hope that you have kindled in us in the midst of a, such a trying time. And most of all, we give you thanks for hearing our prayers. Equal churns, desperation, and longing, and joy, all offered gratefully, knowing that you hear your people and you respond. We thank you for healings we have witnessed. We persevere in praying, Lord, where your kingdom breakthrough is still sorely needed. And we pray, especially this night, lifting up uh, the Christmas hamper ministry of our Savior Lutheran Church. Lord, we pray that that will be a beacon again this year of people from within the congregation and the wider communities, from the various uh, schools involved, who all gather together to help, uh, to give a helping hand and a, a warm light to those who need it uh, this year. We pray that that generosity, that hope, that service would kindle hope and service and generosity in others, Lord, as we continue to press through this trying time, these COVID times that tempt us to separate and isolate, not just physically, but also socially and even spiritually. Lord, we give you thanks for these disciplines of care that unite us to you, to one another, into all your good world. And so we pray not just for the this ministry of our Savior tonight, but for the ministry of our many and various communities of faith in our various cities and towns. We lift up to you, especially the uh, ministry of uh, together with Marilyn and Irene Gable, we lift up the ministry of Canadian Lutheran World Relief. We pray together with Karen in support of the ministry of Luminos, the Lutheran ministry in hospitals in Saskatoon. We 
We pray together with Robin, lifting up uh, the Our Saviors Lutheran Church of Prince George Food Bank Christmas hampers. We lift up to you together with Ellie, the Pregnancy Care Center of Kamloops. Lord, we pray together with Heidi for deliverance from a headache that afflicts her. We pray that you would uh, soothe her tightened and aching muscles, release the tension held there. Pray that you would release the trauma being held in her body, Lord. As you hear her prayers, Lord, assure her body, soul, spirit, and self that you see and have and hold her and that no trauma is greater than that. We say with you, O Christ, Ephathapha, be opened. Lord, we lift up to you the many uh, folks who've joined us along the way of these 200 days, uh, not necessarily here with us tonight. But we thank you for the way that they've blessed us uniquely in their own way with their presence. We lift up to you, Tiffany and Rose and Tammy. We lift up to you, Beth and Joanne and Ron. We lift up to you, Joy and Chris thanks for Chris's restored health, praying for uh, continued healing uh, of his heart, giving thanks for relief and healing from gallstones. We give you thanks for Jesse, for Barbara, for Kristen, for Jeanette and Billy, For all those we name in our hearts, lifting them up to you. Lord, we lift up to you those who have bor been born during these 200 Complins, especially George and Winston. We lift up to you all those who've died during these eight months. We lift up to you especially Eleanor, and Julie, We pray, Lord, for those who grieve and survive, for your peaceful presence to dry their tears and lead them on the healing journey as they walk through the grief, understanding they are not alone or abandoned. We lift up to you, Melanie and Cindy and Laura, 
Joey and Emma and Nick. We lift up to you, Charlie. We pray, O oh Lord, lifting before you all who govern in our various provinces and states, cities and towns and municipalities. We pray especially for our Prime Minister, Justin, and our Premiers, John and Jason, Scott, Brian, Doug, Francois, Blaine, Stephen, Dennis, Dwight, Sandy, Carolyn, and Joe. And we pray for our bishops, Susan and Michael, Jason and Sid, Larry and Greg. Lord, these are hard times to lead in and through. We pray that you would continue to upbuild them, grant them perseverance and a sense of being upheld and supported. Grant them wisdom, generosity, grace, compassion. Grant them will to do hard and unpopular things when these things benefit the common good and protect the most vulnerable. Grant them grace to admit mistakes and shortcomings, receive forgiveness and reconciliation. May those who hold power understand that it is a trust from you to be used not for personal glory or profit, but for the service of the people. Drive us from cynicism and selfishness and corruption and grant in your mercy just and honest government, even as you give us grace to live together in unity and peace. We pray together with Eloise for Pastor Dave Venables, diagnosed this week with multiple myel myeloma and in hospital. We pray, O oh Lord, for your comfort and strength to abound for his wife, Val, and his family. We pray for wisdom and skill for his doctors. Lord, we pray for relief of pain and for the miracles that only you can bring. We join to these prayers for Pastor Dave, our prayers for Connie and Dave, for MJ, for Daniel, for Wilson, for Rosanna and Waylon, for Gordon and Maya, and all who long for healing and wholeness. Lord, we know that it will come, that you will come soon and very soon. And yet we yearn for these breakthrough glimpses of your will being done here on earth as it always is in heaven. Lord, we pray together with Ellie for those uh, going for medical tests this week. 
waiting on results, that COVID will not complicate matters further. We pray health and healing to the body. We lift up especially Riley. We pray for Molly and Christina, for Tina and Mary. We pray for Dawn. Pray for our schools, our children and students, and for our teachers. Eternal God, bless all schools, colleges, and universities. We pray especially for the University of Alberta. Grant McEwen, that they may be lively places for sound learning. We lift up to you CLBI and Augustana, places of new discovery and the pursuit of wisdom. And we pray that you would grant those who teach and those who learn would find you to be the source of all truth. God of wisdom, your son came among us as a teacher. Send your blessing on all who are engaged in the work of education. Give them the clearness of vision and freshness of thought and enable them to so train their hearts and minds of their students that they may grow in wisdom and be prepared to face the challenges of life. We lift up to you, especially uh, Lena and Phil and Alex, all teachers in Edmonton public and Catholic, beginning a new quarter tomorrow. We lift up to you, Owen, and all our students in grade 12 this year preparing for uh, diploma exams and entrance exams for post-secondary Lord, we pray that they would know your presence as guide, encourager, deliverer, and savior. Eternal God, the hours, both of day and night, are yours. And to you, the darkness is no threat. Be present, we pray, with those who labor in these hours of night, especially those who watch and work on behalf of others. Grant them diligence in their watching, faithfulness in their service, courage in danger and competence in emergencies. Help them to meet the needs of others with confidence and compassion. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and in 
now and forever. Amen. Now in peace I will lie down and sleep. You alone, O God, make me secure. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Friends, go in peace to rest, so that resting you might root in God's eternal and gracious love for you, and so rise to be of glory to God and of good service to your neighbor. Thank you all for joining in these 200 Compline services. Um, tomorrow morning, uh, I will see you, maybe some of you, at 9 a.m. for morning prayer. Uh, just watch this channel. Um, if you, I believe if you touch the little three dots up in the corner of your feed, you can uh, ask for alerts when I go live, and then you'll uh, receive alerts on Monday and Friday mornings at 9 a.m. for morning prayer. Uh, we will continue Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays with Compline, and Wednesday at 6 p.m. we will mark evening prayer. Uh, so thank you everyone again for your com company and encouragement along this these 200 nights and this journey. Thank you for your generosity tonight. I am just doing some quick math. And uh, I think together with all of your pledges, bear with me here. You've pledged over eleven $1 hundred dollars, as well as two hundred cookies. I don't know, Heidi, if that was two hundred or two hundred dozen. I hope it's two hundred, because two hundred dozen would be a lot of cookies, uh, and uh, and Christmas cards, and so many more. Uh, don't forget to count your prayers shared for your neighbors and all those working in the charities you've lifted up. So, well done. Good night, everyone. Good night to you, Ellie and Carrie. Good night to Curtis, Tyler. Good night to Karen. Good night, Heidi. Good night, Marilyn. Good night, Heidi. Good night, Sarah and Derek. Blessings to you. Hey, Naomi. Good night, friends.